Um, you have it in the B port, so I'm going to use the B button. When I first turn it on, the light will come on, but there's a, a span of time that right here is actually the, zero, or the uh, off point, and zero is way over here. So there's quite a bit of space before you actually start feeling anything. So what I can do right now is turn that on and just make sure, once again, <coughs> that it's on normal, and it is. Okay, so this is where I can double check before she feels anything. Okay, I'm going to start turning it up. I want you to relax your hand. There you go. Um, and tell me when you first feel anything at all. Again, it should just feel like a, a tingly feeling. Okay, it shouldn't be uncomfortable at all. If it is, let me know. Oh, you're going to love this. This is going to feel really good. Okay, it should be getting close to okay, where you yes, first feel. I can okay. feel first. All right. Um, is it uncomfortable at all? No. Okay, so you feel how it's kind of yep. a tingly feeling, it kind is. of tickles a little? Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to have you turn it up the rest of the way. We're going to turn it up until it starts to get uncomfortable and then turn it back down to where it's the highest comfortable setting. Okay, we don't want it to be painful or uncomfortable at all. Okay. So I'm turning so, it up this way. Yep. Um, I'll look at it and see the numbers. I can't tell from here which way. Yeah. Okay. So I'll turn it up really slow. And what I can find out from the patient is I can ask, is it a small sensation, medium, or large? And I kind of know where we are. So right now, would you say it's small, medium, or large sensation? Small. Small. Okay, so keep turning it up. Let me know when it gets to medium. I say medium. Okay. Borderline. Okay. And then remember, you're going to take it up to where it starts to get uncomfortable, and then turn it down right away to where it is comfortable. Okay. Probably helps if I don't tense okay. up. I would say that. Okay, so that's comfortable right yeah. there? All right. What I'm going to do now, remember we talked about once we get everything set, the intensity is set, we're going to tweak the width. That's what I'm going to do now. Before I do that, I tell my patient what I'm going to do. If you start turning knobs, they get really nervous. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width on here a little bit. And what that's going to do is that's going to, what I'm looking for is to make it um, change the sensation that you're feeling. You're going to feel one of two things. It's either going to feel like the sensation is spreading out to a bigger area, or like it's getting smaller to more under the um, electrodes. Okay, I'm going to go really slow so it shouldn't make any big changes for you. So I'm going to move it just a little bit and tell me does it feel more spread out or more <coughs> deep under the electrodes? Spread out. Okay, that's a good thing, so I want to go a little further. Okay, same question, is it more spread out or deep? Spread out. Okay, again, is it more spread out or deep? I'd say a little bit more deep. Okay, so if it's deep, what do I need to do? Go back. Turn it back. Go back, so I have the most spread out area. After you do that, check with your patient. Does that feel more comfortable yep. now, more spread out? Okay. That's where we're going to leave the width. Okay. What's the other thing I need to do in this little panel? Change it to multi. Mm -hmm. Change it to multi. Tell your patient again before you start clicking things. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to multi. And what that's going to do is you feel the sensation right mm -hmm. now. What it's going to do is it's going to make it go less, and then it's going to come back up to that sensation. Then it's going to go less and back up to that sensation. It won't get any stronger than this. Okay. And what that does is keeps your body from accommodating, getting used to it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to change that, and there it is. It'll take just a second, then you'll feel it go down and back up. Have you felt it yet? Yep. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave it. Okay. Um, with this, again, we would have put the wires down through our... Sure, if we didn't, we could turn down the intent, turn off the intensity, unplug this, and then kind of put it down through her shirt. Or if it were a leg, went down through the pants. Okay. How do you check yep. that? Sorry? Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to do right now is if you're going to have this on your waistband, I'm going to put this cap on it. The cap does have a correct and an incorrect way of putting it on. You want to put it on so you can see that little light right okay. there. If you put it on backward, you can't see the light. So I'm going to put it on so you can see the light. If you guys can't tell, there's like a little T-shaped thing there. Okay. And the light indicates that it's on? Yep. The light shows you that it's on. It'll start blinking or something if, it, if the battery is starting to go. So you want to see that light. So when this is on your waistband, you want to have that, you want to have that cap on because you don't want your arm to swing past it and all of a sudden change the intensity. Right. Okay, so that protects you from that. Okay. All right, so we have everything set there. At home, when you turn it off, um, obviously you're going to use the same button you used before. Always turn it off slowly because you don't want to find out you're going the wrong direction. So turn it right. off slowly. Once you know you're going the right direction, you can speed up a little bit. 
when you turn it back on, you need to figure out if your patient has the cognition to do this or not. <coughs> when you turn it back on, you can leave these settings right where they are, but remember that it's going up and down. So wait um, and turn it up very slowly because you want to turn it up a little bit and then see if you feel that wave going. If you don't feel it, turn it up a little more. When you start feeling the wave, you only want to turn it up during the times that the wave is at the, the high part of the wave. Okay, so when you're feeling it, you can turn it up a little bit and then wait for the wave to go again before you turn it up again. If your patient can't do that, and, the, and there's some patients that may not be quite able to do that, then you're going to teach your patient to come in here and actually turn it to normal, turn the intensity up, and then change it to multi. Okay, So you, you have to kind of know your patient a little bit as far as whether you think they can handle that. If there's any question about it, then have them turn it back to normal, to turn it back on, get it set, turn it back to multi. Okay. All right, I'm going to have you turn it off. Remember to go nice and slow until you make sure you're going the right direction. Okay, and once you know you're going the right direction, then you can continue to just turn it right off. Okay. Now, if you were taking a shower or something at home and you need to take these off, you can just unplug the lead wires there. Okay. And then... You can take these right off and put them back onto the plastic. Okay. And then I'll undo one. You can undo the other. Take the lead wire right off the electrode. And with this, what I want you to do is to make sure that when you put it into the box, that you kind of wind it around your fingers like that. Never crease these. So go ahead and do that. Nice box in here to take care of everything. Okay. Um, let me see your arm. Then I'm going to check again afterward to make sure that the sensei or that the skin is still intact. That there aren't any areas. Now, if they truly had it on for a while, there might be some redness that lasts just for you know five minutes, fifteen minutes. You know that's fine. If it lasts for more than fifteen minutes or twenty minutes, then um, you need to be careful about adhesives. On there, okay. If they do have alert allergies, remember you can use the clean coat. Um, to put a little protection between the patient and the electrode adhesive. Okay. Do you have any questions about using this? Mm, no. Okay. Um, go ahead. Pain scale. Yes. What is your pain after treatment? I would say it helped quite a bit. I say I'm a five. All right. That's a good deal. So you would turn the pain. Oh, that's the other thing. Let's do this. While you're at home, you're going to write out this nice little diary. Okay, I would go through how to do the diary at this point. I'm not going to take time to do it, but you know, pain on, diary, uh, write down. If you the have pain, starts. turn the machine on. If you have pain, it goes away. Turn the machine off, and you're going to keep track of the diary. I'd go into more detail for the patient on how to do that. Okay? Okay. When you bring it in in about a week, we'll look at that and see if there's changes. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thank you.